Jude Roth, OAC District, here at Massillon Jackson High School. First off, beautiful facility. Yes, yeah, uh, something else. Huge, huge, spacious. Uh, there's like four different gy gyms. The second there, so it's really nice. will begin yeah, the varsity gym, one. we're not even using that. Right, right. We're going to probably get that for next year if we, if we come back here. But, uh, this year was, it was uh, reserved for something else. You were at the ground level of the OAC, you know, you're you're one of the guys. You created it, you know, like you're the founder essentially. I, I like to say, okay. But I, I look at it, and the growth has been exponential year after year. You know, bringing Jared Opper in, he runs it, you run it. How do you guys keep ahead of the, the curve? You're innovative. You're adding a girls championship. Why are you guys always ahead of everybody? And how do you continue to grow? First, I like to point out, it's not just myself. There's a lot of key people involved, especially uh, two others, and uh, Mark Eastro, uh, and uh, Ed Upper, three of us. Those are brainstorm or whatever you want to call it, getting together and decided we wanted to have a state tournament for junior high kids. And it just blossomed from there. We've had a lot of luck with uh, people volunteering for so many years and that's just really blew up to where it is today and, and it's uh, really taking off. I, and I look at the girls championship, That that's, you had to do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and not that you got, you would have done it 10 years ago if you could have, but now there's, you know, you didn't have the numbers 10 yeah, years ago. Yeah, the numbers ago. really dictate that it, hey, it's there, it's there. So they've arrived, and it's gonna, it's really going to explode on the girls' level, I'm sure. Game changer. February 11th, it's at Mason High School. That's what an opportunity for them. Yeah. Incredible, right? And, and obviously, I think we're going to see it continue to, you know, I mean, with Helen Rulis, she's our first Olympic gold medalist in right. 2016. The sport is only on an upswing with, with women's wrestling, girls' wrestling. Um, when you guys, how, how did that, that come about when you were talking about girls' wrestling and adding it? Well, we had it on the radar for a number of years, probably two, three years, but we, uh, we, we know from the, the boys' divisions how many girls are actually entering that. We're thinking how many aren't entering because it's boys. So we just decided let's give it a shot, and uh, we think that we have enough that it's going to make a, a really good first year tournament for us, and uh, it's going to it's going to increase for sure. I, I know that. Always adding events. I mean, you guys run 40 plus events just in wrestling. That's just wrestling. There's cheerleading. There's football. There's cross country. You guys are going across all disciplines. Yeah. What is that like? And, and how? It's a full time job. This is what you guys do for a living. Right. What's it like? Constantly adding events and running events and finding people to run events for you. Is that hard? Uh, initially it was. There's over 80 different events now. And initially it was hard to, to find people to run them, but now we've got such a good core of people who are all across the state, not just in wrestling, but in uh, cross country and uh, youth football, uh, cheerleading. We've got a lot of uh, contacts and good people to be OAC reps. So it really works out well. You know, you guys moving forward in the future, you know, you've had the state championships for junior high and grade school at multiple locations. OU, Marion, you've had it at Cleveland State. Feels like Cavelli's home. Feels like Youngstown's home. Feels like they're, they're good to you. Will we continue to see the championships at the Cavelli Center in Youngstown? Um, we're contracted for another couple of years, I believe. They've got a great facility there. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard on the people in the Southwest to drive there. We understand that. But if you pick this place up, Cabelli Center, put it in, in Columbus, Ohio, first of all, you would not be able to run it because it would be the, everybody would want it. It would be filled up, and uh, the rent for it would be outrageous, and it just wouldn't work out. Uh, we can't find a place in Columbus. We've asked people to look for it, and they've not found anything yet. So. Other than the drive, this place is an awesome facility. I mean, you walk in, it's just like a miniature shot. You know, the shot is when you walk in, you get those uh, butterflies and things. The place is rocking, it's, it's jam packed. So, uh, another couple years for sure there. You were a coach of multiple time state champ Sandusky St. Mary's Central Catholic. You had a lot of individual champs. You guys had a ton of success. How have you taken that success from coaching and emulated it into OEC, and how have you guys built such a, just an incredible organization? How did you do that? I know you talk about finding people. You know, That's exactly it. Yes, you know, get the right people in the right positions and find out what they can do. Just like with the coaching staff, what are, what are their uh, 
their strong points. Okay, you're going to work on this. Uh, you do that same thing in business. So what are your strong points? Can you can you uh, customer service? Can you run a tournament? Can you do the bracketing? You know, you find out what your strong points are and you put them in those positions, and it's just it comes together, and that's what we've done. What's it like working with somebody's diapers that you used to probably change? What's that like? I mean, Jared Jernowski, what is it like working with Jared? Jared's one of the smartest guys I know. Business you, mind, what's that like? He's brilliant. And as far as uh, uh, as a human being, he's just a great person, great family. Um, I'm honored to be, be a part of this and with him. I, he's, he's doing an excellent job with, with uh, taking care of things on the top level. And uh, you know, that's where it starts at. I look, you guys, you know, do you continue to, are you going across other disciplines? Is it, is it going to continue to grow like that across disciplines and other sports? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've uh, got some other things on the radar. We're talking basketball might be next year. Um, basketball? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There's a need for it, right? Yeah. So you're filling the void. That's right. So uh, we're still in the, investigating that. We're throwing it around. It, it could happen next year. Uh, not sure. It, you know, can't say for sure it will. But it's on the radar. All right, we're about to have a melee start here. It's called Division Two and Four. You got? I know you got the. You got to be tied down over here. You got. You got people lining up for you. You got anything else for me? No, it's just uh, as much as I love doing these interviews. Uh, you know, thanks a lot. Hey, thanks for the time. Good luck surviving the melee. That's about to be Divisions Two and Four. And uh, good luck moving forward in other disciplines. Thanks, Seth.